everyone, and welcome to Podcast Nine and Three Quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half Blood Princess. Today, I'm going to discuss Jacob Kowalski's connection to Salazar Slytherin. But before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. In the new Fantastic Beasts Secrets of Dumbledore film, Jacob Kowalski is given a wand, which has a huge connection to Slytherin. When the trailer was released and we first learned that Jacob was getting a wand, there was so many theories floating around about what this could possibly mean. Theories that Jacob was actually a wizard or that he was a squib, but in the end we saw the movie and found out there was a perfectly simple explanation. The wand was basically a fake. It had no core, so it could not produce magic, but it still looked real, which is all it needed to do for this movie's storyline. Magic powers or not, Jacob's wand had importance using it in attempt to defeat Grindelwald, and it surprisingly has links to another dark wizard. In the third Fantastic Beasts, we find out Jacob's wand is made from snake wood, a rare material that hasn't been seen much in Harry Potter canon. The most notable snakewood wand belonged to none other than one of the original Hogwarts founders, Salazar Slytherin. Also, Jacob's wand has a further link to one of the founders of the American wizarding school, Ilvermorny. Salazar Slytherin's wand had some really powerful magical properties. It's unique in its core, a basilisk, possibly from the same creature that lived in the Chamber of Secrets, the wand had the ability to sleep, meaning only its owner, speaking Parseltongue, could activate it. The wand passed down into the Gaunt family before eventually going to his Altsayer, the founder of Ilvermorny, who stole the wand from her aunt. She was unable to operate the wand, so they planted it on the school's grounds instead, which grew a snake wood tree. That itself deepens the connection to Jacob's own wand. He may not be a great wizard like Slytherin, but his snakewood wand fulfills a similar purpose. At Ilvermorny, the tree that sprouted from Slytherin's wand has great healing properties. And in Fantastic Beasts 3, Jacob's wand plays a key role in helping save the wizarding world. Since Dumbledore works closely with Ilvermorny professor Lolly Hicks, who herself forms a close bond with Jacob in the movie, then it's possible the snakewood for Jacob's wand came from that very Ilvermorny tree. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the connection between Jacob and Slytherin. Be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.